Bernard, as a astrophysicist, mathematician, cosmologist, uh, for four decades or more, you've been involved with some of the biggest questions. Uh, one of the originators of the research in fine tuning, multiverse. Uh, when you stop away from the detail and look at the overview and ask the ultimate questions, what are the mm. kinds of ultimate questions that you've been asking and what are you asking now? In the context of the anthropic principle, I think the key question is, what is the universe supposed to be fine-tuned for? Mm. Now, you could think it's fine-tuned for human beings, and that was the implication of the word anthropic, but I think that's clearly far too anthropocentric. But, so is it fine-tuned for, for mice, for some minimum level of intelligence, or is it just fine-tuned for microbes, or is it just fine-tuned for, for the existence of, of just complexity in general, life in general? Now, we don't know for sure, but my own particular view is that really we should think of this fine-tuning as to be related to the presence of complexity in the universe. We know that over the history of the 14 billion years since the Big Bang, there has evolved in the universe a hierarchy of complexity. First, we have various elements are produced, and then we know we've got planets, and we've got, sorry, we've got galaxies and stars and planets, and, and then eventually living cells, and then evolution culminating in beings like us, and, and, and even brains and, and consciousness. Well, I think you can see this as just a, a process of building up what I call a pyramid of complexity. Mm. But what isn't always appreciated is, is that this pyramid of complexity only arises because of all these fine tunings, which have been called the anthropic fine tunings. And so from that point of view, you could say, well, actually, it's rather incidental what the fine tuning is for. Our, our minds are just a sort of incidental byproduct of this complexity. The universe could just as well be designed for television sets or something yeah. like that. So that's one perspective. But I have to say that another part of me thinks that actually consciousness probably is crucial to the anthropic principle. I shouldn't say to the anthropic principle, to the tunings. And the reason I say that is because I think there are independent reasons for believing that mind is in some sense a fundamental rather than an incidental feature of the universe. And so my personal bias is that really the, the fine tuning really is to do with the presence of of consciousness. I mean, that's, but you're not required to take that view, and if you take the previous view, it's, as I said, purely incidental that consciousness is around. Its complexity was, is Those the Those are two thing. radically opposing ideas to explain the same phenomenon of fine-tuning. Well, I wouldn't say radically opposing, I mean, because I do believe in the complexity, pyramid of complexity. I also happen to believe consciousness is fundamental. All I mean is, you could take a view in which you believe in the complexity principle, and you wouldn't have to put great store on the presence of consciousness itself. Again, if I'm talking to physicists, it's, I'm more comfortable stressing the complexity principle, but if I'm talking to philosophers or even theologians, yeah. I, I'm more comfortable talking about maybe mind being fundamental. But I just think there are reasons to think that mind is fundamental, which go beyond the anthropic principle, and even the nature of our final theory of physics is basically a mental construct, and the whole history of of physics could be thought of as an expansion of our consciousness to bigger and smaller scales. And my own hunch is that when we do have a final theory of physics, which is going to marry relativity and quantum theory in some way, I like to think that final theory is somehow going to make some reference to, to mind and consciousness. And that's why I feel that it's natural that that final theory will also have something to say about these fine tunings. <laughs>